I think for me, having lived all sorts of different types of lives, um, I think the life that I'm leading now is good because it's an honest life. Um, I think, bizarrely, um, starting to do expeditions and, and survival stuff, I've realised that um, a lot of people overcomplicate their lives. And for me, an example would be that I started the um, Amazon walk and I walked in the lake of the Amazon. And, and along the way, um, we had to cross the river. And when we crossed the river in little boats, we'd end up drifting down the river slightly. So when we got to the other side, we drifted down slightly than where we, we uh, set off. And um, had, it, this really frustrated me um, on the day that it happened. And I chatted to my local um, Peruvian guide and I said, look, we can't let this happen again. And he said, no, actually, uh, we need to go back and do the whole of, the whole of today again. And every time we cross the river, we need to walk back to diametrically opposite to where we set off in order to make sure that we can prove that we've done the whole expedition and we've walked the whole way. And I think for me, it was such a life lesson because it wasn't about what you could get away with or what people would know or what people would realize. It was, it was about internally going, yeah, that's the right thing to do. And, um, and I think for me, a life well lived is doing the right thing. And um, yeah, and then everything else is easy. I do think the most impressive people are people who are mo most travelled. Um, without being mean to the people that I've known for the whole of my life who have never gone out of their local town, you know? You come back and there is a... It's, 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 it's almost a cliche, it's so obvious, but there's such a small-mindedness if you don't travel, if you don't meet other cultures, if you don't learn things, and if you don't have things confront you and go, well, am I doing it this right? Is this the right way to live? And I think um, I'm really pleased that I've had the opportunity to travel and therefore the people that inspire me are generally the people who have experienced a lot of life. I mean, the initiation of that is going down to London, getting a job in London, maybe for most people who live in provincial towns, but, but I also include lots of other countries and stuff like that. I think it's really important to experience different, different parts of the world, different concepts, different ideas, and challenge yourself and then constantly allow yourself to evolve. That's key, I think. I think, I think the older I get, the less, the less it's about attaining physical things. I think um, I feel most fulfilled when I'm giving. Um, and, I, and again, I'm an ambassador for the Scouts um, and I do work for a number of different youth development charities. And I think it's the most fulfilling thing is taking what I've done, taking the, I suppose, the, the on the face of it, the success of my career and actually flipping that to see, okay, well, what can we do with this now? And, okay, my profile is nowhere near as big as someone like Bear, but I admire him for, you know, being chief scout and getting all of the people into uh, scouting that are now, you know, which is now so oversubscribed. And I think if there is any positive in something which is inherently a bit inane, you know, walking from A to B, it's not very complicated, is it? But if I can, in, if I can then use that to inspire other people to, I don't know, not not just play video games all day long, get off the couch, go outdoors, do something bold, do something unique, then that's a really real positive. So I think, yeah, in terms of fulfillment, it's going in that direction. Yeah. There is a certain window of opportunity, although Ranulph Fine seems to have pushed that up to quite an old age. There's a certain, you know, window that you can, is available to you as an explorer in order to um, have a career. I. Already I'm starting to set up businesses, already I'm starting to look outside the sphere of, you know, you need one Discovery Channel commissioner to just say, figures aren't high enough this year, he's out of, it, out of here. And my whole career comes tumbling down, it's, it's incredible, I'm incredibly fortunate, but it's also quite fragile. And I'm not blind to that, so yeah, I'm starting businesses, yeah, I'm looking at bushcraft schools, production companies, all sorts of spin-offs to what I'm actually doing, so it's not so outside my sort of knowledge base but it is something that therefore becomes a business, that becomes profitable beyond my own sort of shelf life, I suppose. So, uh, yeah, I, I look at that all the time. I think I used to be a bit of a hippie in the fact that I used to work for a charity um, and I got £50 a week. This is after being in the military, um, after doing all sorts of different jobs. But I then decided, you know, life was about doing conservation work and washing in rivers and stuff like this, but I didn't have any money. And 
coming back to London and being with friends and family in the UK, it didn't, it didn't translate, it didn't work, it was naive. And I think, um, I think for me, success does include a certain amount of economic stability, certainly. You know, I, I'm, not, I'm not envious of ridiculously, ridiculously wealthy people. I don't need my own yacht that's permanently parked in the Mediterranean or anything like that. But I do need an amount of money that I can look after people around me. So I think success is being able to choose your own path, really. I suppose being able to get to a situation where you don't have to do things because you need the money to come in. Success for me is being able to wake up in the morning and go, I choose to do this and I choose to do that because that's what I really want to do rather than being forced to do something because I don't have enough, probably, wealth in order to do it. So, yeah, success is being able to make your own decision. If I had a week left on earth, I, um, I'd spend it with my family. Um, I've, I've had a lot of good times with mates. I've been out and got drunk and done extreme things and had extreme experiences, and I don't think my last week on earth would include those at all. I, um, not because they're not valuable, but because they're not the core of what makes my life meaningful. My life is meaningful because I can come home. Somebody told me that they thought relationships, and I suppose this applies to family, really, are like a, a ship in a harbour. A ship is built in a harbour, and it's safest in harbour, but it, it's not built to stay in harbour. It goes out. But the, there is this drawback to family and, and my wife and my mum and my sister. And I, if I, I think if I had a week to live, crikey. Actually, no second thought, I'd spend it with them. I'd spend it with my family.